Hey there and welcome back. Let's see how we can use some of the new procedural shading nodes in Odini 20. So I have some procedural generated houses and it would be a challenge to texture them in a traditional way, like in Substance Painter for example, and on top of that I didn't want to create UVs. But in Odini 20 we have some new nodes that can help us in this task. I am starting by loading an attribute created in SOPS, randomizing each wood plank. Then we have this new Material X color correct node, where we could plug the attribute to alter the gain, hue, or even saturation of our base texture. In here, I am also changing the range so the effect is more subtle. And as you can see, we have some wood texture that is created by the new Karma X style tri planner. And as I want to keep the orientation of the wood, I am removing any random rotation values and just changing the size. Then I am referencing the first node to use as a roughness map, in this case, changing the data type to raw. For the normal, you just need to change the mode to normals and there is no need for a normal map node, just plug it directly to the shader normal slot. I also have another attribute that gives a random value to each house and in, in case you want to generate a new value, you can use the new Material X random node with the very handy seed attribute. As you can see, I have made some houses darker by changing the gain. There's also a new ramp node that you can use to change the colors of your textures, for instance. In this case, I ended up not using it. So another feature that helped me in this scene were the new room map nodes. Basically, in SOPS, you create the attributes necessary for shading with the room map frame nodes, just default settings. Then in Solaris you can use the Karma Room map along with the necessary attributes created in SOPS, Room P, Tangent U and Tangent V, all set to Vector Tree. And as you can see in Render we have the desired parallax effect, there are ways to randomize it, but since I had trouble finding cube maps, I used only one. So here's how it looks in context and for the amount of work we put into it, it's not that bad. So that was it, a very quick overview of some new Karma features that I wanted to share with you. Don't forget you can grab a file from my Patreon. And thank you, see you soon.